Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here, and welcome back to Union Cross and my spotlight video for the Warrior of Light, which we got during the high score challenge. Quickly, before you do continue this video, guys, I'm really curious how many of you guys actually got the 60 million. I haven't really got to talk to a lot of you guys about it, so let me know down below if you got the 60 million score to get the Warrior of Light, or did you make top 5,000, especially top 1,000? If you guys make top 1,000, congratulations for that boosted Warrior of Light. Right now, there's 80% booster towards him, which is going to make his power in sane so let's talk about my warrior light and see what i'm gonna get out of it if you guys have the option which you really don't for traits anyways uh <laughs> so i can't really do this metal spotlight with like these are the traits you should go for unless they make some kind of banner uh for high score challenge medals to trade them for like a thousand jewels or something like that like they did with the genie one i think that's still going on right now right guys let me go look at that real quick uh yeah 1500 jewels so you have a chance of getting the, the genie there. You have a chance of getting the Donald and the Goofy. So it, there is a chance of these medals coming back. So I guess this metal spotlight can kind of turn out good. But uh, for traits, uh, for traits, for me recommending traits. But I don't really have the options right now. I only have two Warrior of Lights. So I'm going to do my best here and go for it. Obviously, if you guys got negative 60s plus 1000 or extra attack, you are set. Extra attack. I would say is hands down the best trait to get on this metal. Um, as much as negative 60s increase your power because it goes through enemies' defenses a lot better, I really would want to have this metal with extra attack because of that upright defense down by two, which is so good. In one metal, you can have four upright down defense and also an extremely heavy hitter. So no matter where you put them, even if you put them super early after your carry buff, you're laughing. So <laughs> I don't currently have... Uh, the Pooh Bears buff on me. You know what? I think I'm going to go do the Pooh Bears buff real quick. Because I want to see that damage with the 80%. I'm going to do the 40%. And then I'm going to do the damage. I'm going to do the win the pool vent. And then do the 80%. So you're going to see two comparisons with that boost there. And then I'm going to do the win the pool boost. And then I'll do that. Uh, I said that so many times. Anyways. Let's jump in. Pause the video. If you guys want to guess my trait and see if you can get lucky with it, if you want to, put it down in the comment section. If not, sit back and watch my bad RNG. My recording, I'm recording. Hopefully the mic sounds good. Here you go, guys. My first trait roll on Warrior Light. If you guys don't know anything about this metal, this metal is a top hitter in the game currently. So please, give me something that's going to be good on them. Oh! Negative 60 aerial defense down. I will take you any day. Okay. Trait number one is really good. I didn't get a boosted one, uh, but I did get that. Trait number two, guys, again, pause the video here if you want to guess it. Here I go, trait number two, please, negative 60 ground, extra attack, or plus 1,000. No pow no resist, no nothing like that. No defensive traits, please. Please. Oh, my God, I said defense. <laughs> Either way, guys, uh, without any traits, oh, that defense. Even without any traits, guys, it, it's still such an incredible metal that let's say you didn't get any traits at all. I got to take that open. I would throw the Mickey Brooms on there. I would definitely throw the Mickey Brooms on there. So here we go. I need two of them to guilt them, which sucks. I only made top 2,000. So here's my trait roll. I uh, my guilt roll. Guess away, guys. Guess away. I would like that 200% though. I'm not going to guess a bad guilt. I'm just going to guess 200% because that's what I want. 146. Whew, I got a lot of mirrors to pump into this guy, but he's definitely, definitely worth it. Ah, oh, I'm forever going to be thrown in the face that I got defense on my Warrior of Light. No, that one bad trait. That's all right. That's all right. So I'm going to finish filling him up with everything to make him perfect, and then we're going to go talk about Keyblade setups. All right, my Warrior Light's fully completed. Got the chip, the Dales, and the only thing I didn't add yet is a skill. I'm going to talk about the skill before we jump into the equipment. Uh, obvious choice here, guys, is attack boost max with SP gauge 0, uh, 1, or 2. Attack boost 5 max. Make sure you're putting the best attack boost on this metal because it's going to make a hell of a difference when it comes to doing damage. Um, you don't need a 5. If you only have a 4, then go for it. But 5s are going to be given out more often, so don't worry about that. Uh, but you do need some kind of SP gauge on there because even with your restore medals, there's going to be situations where you don't want to pay 5 for a metal you guys want to pay as le as little as you can unless the best metal next after him says hey you got to spend 10 sp in order to do the best multiplier then that could help you as well like large lark scene hd lark scene says the more gauges used the more damage he does so 
in those situations, this metal can help that metal. But honestly, uh, this guy's going to sit on Keyblades that are not going to have those kind of metals on it currently. And if it does in the future, you can always change it. For now, Attack Boost Max with an SP Gauge. But if you got Raid Damage, uh, Raid Damage 40% on here, I would recommend you putting that Attack Boost Max with Lux Plus. That is going to be so much damage. And you will farm Raid Bosses like no tomorrow. <clears throat> So sadly, I have no attack boost sitting around, no attack boost max uh, gauges either, I only got a no cost there. So I can't put nothing on my warrior like currently, so I'm not going to waste anything. I, pro I might put like, let's just go there and let's go put attack boost 5. That's not a max because I got nothing else and hopefully RNG shines on us and actually lets this happen. So I'm going to put attack boost 5 for now until I do get attack boost 5 max and we'll see how far I get with that. But here's Warrior Light. Let's go to the equipment and let's talk about what Keyblades he sits best on. Number one on my list, not number one like this is the best one. I'm just going to go with the whatever I organized here. So first one here guys, Olympia. I got Olympia level 30. You can go higher, more, uh, more Keyblade slots for everything, but... It's just Olympia's got a pretty good setup. Right here, guys, I got Triple Cast Kyrie EX, which is going to give me all the upright buffs I need except for one, plus all the buffs and debuffs. Then, because Warrior Light has that two upright defense down, what we're going to do here, Warrior of Light into Warrior of Light into a Warrior Light. Triple Cast Warrior of Light, giving us six upright defense down, and then whatever is in your pet slot can go ham. Well, I don't know why that's there. I can even go like this. Into another Warrior Light, copy my friend Metal Warrior Light, or let's say you're doing Coliseum, just bring in your best uh, your best attack metal, which in my case is Genie, besides my Warrior Light. Warrior Light is the best single target, but Genie's really good, and we're about to get even better attack metals as well. Don't forget that that uh, Warrior of Light does 30% guilt, so this Genie does even more damage. So you got a lot of potential here, guys, on the Olympia. Great Keyblade. Uh, second up is going to be... I believe it was Moogle of Glory. Moogle of Glory only because of the one situation where Benitez is a tier 7 copycat metal. So you'll get perfect copycat off this guy because he's tier 7 too. So this is perfect 2 right here. This Benitez will be better than the Warrior Light because the Warrior Light's multiplier is kind of sucks. You do got to invest in Moogle Glory to make that better. But uh, Moogle Glory, you can see where it has its awkward situation. If you don't have a good power reverse metal, it doesn't turn out that great. So yeah, you got that going on. But the good thing about Warrior Light sitting on the end here is you can use a backwards copycat metal. The only problem is copycat metals like this are tier 5, just like I showed on Olympia. So still a triple cast. But you miss on that potential damage compared to Olympia. So I do prefer Olympia over the Moogle Glory. Then, of course, out of all the Keyblades, those are the three that I really recommend. Fenrir being the third one and most definitely the best one, in my opinion, just because of the high multiplier slots. Now, I still think Olympia has really good competition here, but we do have a lot of upright power medals, especially if you guys got Terra, which is also another good medal for AoE because you need some sort of AoE cleanup on here as well. So... You could use a backward copycat metal here, or you can get your best AoE metal and put that on the end of the Keyblade to finish off some AoE stuff. So whatever you guys got for upright AoE, which I don't have much, here we go. Boom, I can do this, use my Aqua at the end. The whole 30% guilt thing, not a big deal. You might be like, oh, that's a waste. These are still really good AoE medals. You guys, if you spent enough, you can also use this. There's a ton of possibilities, whatever you guys want to do. But make sure it's upright because this whole Keyblade revolves upright. So... Really good choice here because we do have that Kingdom Hearts 3 Mickey. You also have your Terra. Like I said, there's a bunch of possibilities. You need some AoE cleanup. So make sure you add enough AoE along with the setup. But having the double cast over here, very, very nice. So those are the top three Keyblades. Let's go into a quest and let's try out its power. All right, so since I haven't played Coliseum yet, we're going to go into the speed trial over here against the Blitz Spear. I haven't completed this fully yet. I didn't make a good setup yet, but with my Warrior Light now guilted, I can probably do something really good. Uh, for now, I just want to fully upgrade my Warrior Light and try to go in there. Got the double uh, copying over here, my Warrior Light. Only issue is that we have to get Attack Boost 5 to activate. We have a lot of skill perk on, but I don't know if this is going to happen. So, let's see how much damage we're going to do off this. Got Auto Battle on. He's at 895 bars of HP. I got that triple cast Kyrie EX for the 6 upright uh, attack along with all the buffs and debuffs that I need except for upright defense uh, down on the enemy. And the Mickey here just to give me another upright uh, attack up. So right here guys, here's the first one with a tier 6. It's doing 1,265,000 over 8 hits. And with no attack boost, of course we're not going to do a million damage. But 
we still killed him. We still killed him without that. Not that that enemy is super crazy or anything. But right there, guys, that is potentially a ton of damage out of the Warrior Light. I almost did 8 million damage with Elden Attack Boost 5. And that's only with one 40% booster. Um, so I do got to finish the Winning the Pool event and try to see what I can get out of that. Hopefully I can do that really quick and we'll see the damage difference. Okay, so I went to go farm the Winnie the Pooh event. It was actually very, very simple. I didn't complete all objectives. I just went right to the end to get this video done. Right here, guys. 80% booster. He's got an 80% booster right now. Let's go back in there and let's try this again. Auto battle's on. We're going to go straight in. What did we do? We did like 1.2 uh, for the HD Shion and 9.4. 942,000 for the actual warrior light himself without attack boost so hopefully attack boost doesn't activate again so we can just see the comparison of the damage but you guys can rewind the video check out what hd shion did last time and what she's about to do right now so here we go hd shion with the extra 40 percent is now doing 1,442,000 well warrior light got attack boost 5 but 2 million per hit that is 16 million damage and I guarantee that if I just go triple cast Kyrie X into my warrior light where King Mickey is alone I think I could pass this in 28 seconds you know what for the sake of the video I think I'm gonna go do that so let's go change that 16 million damage guys with one metal with one metal now let's just go switch that up real quick since we got the metal spotlight out of the way let's just do that Let's, let's put that over there like this. Okay, so I tried it with just the triple cast carry X. It didn't work. It got me 28 uh, point something. So I just missed it. Missed it. But let's see if this works out with the HG Shion in the way. So HG Shion's up front. Let's throw auto bat on there. Triple cast carry X might be too much. I could probably do double cast carry X since I'm going to do HG Shion. Let's see if this works though. Here we go. Second cast of Kyrie. Third cast of Kyrie. And now we're going to HG Shion, which is Warrior of Light. Again, the amount of damage this metal has. So, so much damage. And here we go. Attack Boost 5. Attack Boost 5 did activate. <laughs> 26. 27. Oh! Did it. I did it right there, guys. Under 28 seconds. So, Warrior of Light. I could possibly have done it even without the triple cast Kyrie X, I'm pretty sure. But there we go, guys. Full completion with Warrior of Light. There's a good example of his power. Attack Boost 5 actually activated. Again, guys, if you don't have him fully guilted and you did get 60 million, or if you did get uh, just one copy from top 5,000, then go ahead and throw those Mechie and Brooms in there, guys. Go ahead. I know Negative 60 did some extra damage there. If you guys have a boost one, you're laughing, but that just was so, so, so good. So... Warrior of Light, guys, I hope you guys did get it. If you didn't, um, medals like this are going to be coming out. Not with that upright defense down, but it's just nice that all together, that amount of power and the defense down, all in one medal. So, again, guys, if you do have this medal, if you didn't get it, let me know down below. Let me know what you think of this powerhouse and what the future holds for this game. Since this much power is in the game, what about the content? What's going to happen? So, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.